Okay, let's take a look at the V4 440 pound electric hoist. Okay, we got our instruction manual. We actually got, so I love that. I really like nylon straps. That's my preferred style of strap just because you don't have to worry about it damaging the equipment that you're lifting. And on top of that, it's just really light. Like I can take these things and make, you know, one hand, this is not gonna add any weight to the object that I'm lifting, so. These things are great. So we got a nice long cord here. This is for our controller. Oh, that's interesting. So they actually put a mounting hole in the back. So if you wanted to, you could screw this thing to a wall. I always prefer having these things going with the hoist. So, oh, that is a nice thick chunking button right there. And we have an emergency button. So yeah, that's a great little controller. We have our mounting hardware and a nice heavy duty hanger. Same thing for the other side. And that is the hoist. So the first thing I could say about this is that this is not a terribly heavy hoist. So if you ever had to hang a hoist before, one thing that you're gonna immediately find out is that it is really not an easy job to do, especially, I mean, you're working above your head. A nice light hoist like this, this is something that you can mount by yourself. So that is great. So we have two hooks. We got our main hook. So this hook by itself will run at twice the speed, but it's gonna have half the carrying capacity. So this is a 220 pound hook. Now, if you loop this around and hook it onto the frame, we can then put this hook with that pulley on that cable. So it's going to lift at half the speed, but you have twice the capacity. So with this one, you're gonna be able to lift 440 pounds. And for a nice light hoist like this, 440 pounds is gonna be fantastic. If you're just doing something where you need to put it in your garage, this is gonna be a pretty ideal hoist for that. So this guard right here, this is actually a limit switch. So in the event that you're gonna lift anything too high and it was gonna damage the unit, it will hit this and that will automatically make it stop. So you don't have to worry about that. We do wanna make sure that we take this tape off before we actually start unwinding it because we don't want the cable to start winding and then like damage the housing, anything like that. But I do like seeing they actually have the rating right here on the side. So there's no second guessing that. You're going to know just by looking at this thing what this thing can handle. So that's cool. Yeah, I'm going to take this guy to the shop and I'm going to put it to work. Even with half the speed, that thing's still going pretty fast, so I'm impressed with it. Honestly, I'm, I'm gonna be using that. So that's a very nice hoist.